On June 10th, 2020, I posted my original Pink Elephants meme over on my first channel. This channel is now inactive, at least for the time being, for reasons that I will not disclose in this video. I didn't realize the impact this video would have on the animation community or myself upon publishing it, and I think in hindsight, now I can actually assess what happened there. Upon first publishing the animation, I was proud of how it turned out in the end, and I had received positive feedback from viewers in my community, who I greatly appreciated for the kind words that they shared with me. I was currently in the process of my channel growing bigger and faster than it ever had before. This was because I joined the Battle for Dream Island fandom and had been animating for the series, as well as my own alternate universe spinoff. I had been growing in popularity, starting off around 200 subscribers or less, bringing me to the 3,000 subscribers the channel has today. I started posting more and more BFDI related content. This started to take off more in April and May of 2020 when I posted a gift for a more popular animator and my first animation of my own personal BFB AU. Since then, both of these videos have raised in view count to the 10,000s and as of now, my Stuff Is Way animation meme has 109,000. I continued animating in this community, making gifts and AU animations and whatnot, even making my own OCs, all the way until my final completed AU animation, my original Pink Elephants meme. It was a success. Over time, this video had become what is now my most viewed video on my entire channel, just surpassing 145,000 views and 7.5,000 likes. It was incredible. I believe I owe most thanks, though, to the animator Lel Pink Kitten for making her own version of my meme, which is actually her own most popular animation as well. Unfortunately, as with all publicity, this also brought negative attention to my video as well. As many of you who are in the animation meme community know, there is a lot of misconceptions and gatekeeping among the community, especially regarding people's creativity. I had come across this kind of negative attention firsthand a few months after posting. I would already gotten a few jeering comments from people, more generic and simple, not so constructive criticism, so I was used to it already, all the way up until this one commenter. I won't publicize the person's user here to avoid starting any drama or harassment, but the comments still remain on the original video for anyone to see. This user was, for lack of a better word, insistent. No matter what reasoning I tried, this person would just not, for the life of me, calm down or try negotiating. Unfortunately, at the time, I was an impressionable 15-year-old, hellbent on keeping those around me happy and self-conscious of being mean or angry. The reply thread turned into an argument. The commenter would not let it go and proceeded to knock myself forth into the ground as the discussion went on. This is something I see quite frequently in this community, almost as if the young kids in the community don't understand what the word original means. Hmm. If you look back on my first channel today, you'll notice almost all of my BFB exclusive animations are now no longer public, with the ones that aren't unlisted being set to private. I've stated this in community posts before, but ever since I left the Object Show fandom, I haven't been associating myself with it officially anymore. Of course, some of it still has its charm and I can enjoy it from time to time, but I found that making content for it just wasn't making me happy anymore. The moment I stopped, I found out that my subscribers who all supported me during that time and got me to my 3,000 subscriber count didn't really support me like I thought they did. I was under the assumption that at least a decent number of them were watching my content for me because they saw my creativity and art style and enjoyed my content for that, but alas, this wasn't the case. Once I stopped animating for the Object Show community, my view counts dropped by over a thousand percent, and I started getting at least one comment for each new video asking, where's BFB? Why no BFB? And I just didn't want to associate anymore. I just wanted to move on. With that said, if anybody wants to upload their favorite videos from my Object Show times publicly, then go right for it. I don't mind if anybody wants to see it again, but I just don't want my channel to be associated with it and be recommended to people based on BFB anymore. When I look back on all this today, I get mixed feelings. I get a hint of embarrassment to look back on my response to it, but I do think it made sense. It was my first time handling a big following at a young age, and it comes to nobody's surprise that I wasn't the most emotionally mature. I've since edited this reply now to be more accurate in case anyone found it later on, but one of my replies in particular to the user in this originality argument was highly dramatic and I regret having the reactions I did. While I certainly don't think this user was in the right here, I could have handled it better and just stopped responding. It wasn't worth abiding to the needs of this one, clearly antagonistic person when I had so many other viewers and even friends whose opinions I should have valued more. Just a quick lesson to all you gatekeepers in the animation meme community, stop it. It's that simple. If you don't understand what the word original actually means and you don't understand that the whole point of art and especially animation memes is to be inspired by other artists, then you have no right to be yelling at your peers and telling them that they're not allowed to just be creative and have fun. You aren't the good guy here. You need some serious introspection if you think that's okay. Okay. Among other problems this community has.
but also don't give in to these gatekeepers if you come across them like I did. It isn't worth abiding to the expectations of people who don't understand what they're trying to tell you off for. If you had honest creative thoughts and were only having fun, maybe even taking some inspiration from your favorite creators, then that's all you need. You don't need to prove yourself by avoiding doing anything similar to anyone else ever because that's just impossible and you'll only drive yourself crazy. I'd like to state for the record that although I don't associate with object shows anymore, it does not mean I hate them. I don't think I'll ever make my content revolve around any one particular fandom ever again. It only sets false expectations for me and for fandom members that follow me. I wish I could have seen it coming sooner, as it was easy to see that my BFB phase had greatly contributed to my channel growth and that not everybody who likes one fandom I'm in will also enjoy my other interests. For the sake of my own state of mind and potentially disappointed viewers, it's just best to avoid revolving my content around one particular thing. Get some variety in there, you know? I know it's just how the internet works and people aren't required to like everything I make, which is totally fine, but in order for me to keep making content I love, I can't bend my inspiration to suit everybody's needs. If anyone watches this who struggles with the same worry, someone who is losing motivation to make content for your viewers, then you probably aren't making the content you really want to make. It's good to make your viewers happy so that they'll keep coming, but you can't keep making content if it's all the content that you don't want to make anymore. Make things that you're excited to make, that you put your own unique inspiration into, and your content will turn out so much higher quality because it was something that you had fun making. I've been thinking of redoing Pink Elephants one day. I've been on and off on whether or not I want to remake it again with a new twist on something that reflects my content and interests better, but I don't know. As long as you all promise not to cancel me for it, but that's a conversation topic for another day. Thanks for listening to me rant about my experience here on YouTube. I think this was something that I had to address for closure, even if most people have forgotten about my original meme anyway. I'm still grateful to the view count that video received, even if it did attract some negative attention. This is my first time making a commentary video like this, but I felt like it would be something fun to try out, since I can really feel that I won't be animating forever, and this feels like a good next step. Let me know what you all think. Thanks again, and have a good one.